Hey guys, um, it's me again, and uh, finally I can make a new video because I was so busy in the last couple of days. Actually, the whole week, last week was like, boom. Um, not a nightmare, very busy just. So, okay, I want to talk to you about one thing, and uh, I haven't heard anybody mention it, like, on the internet, I mean. Uh, there is this kind of um, maybe secret or I don't know key to success what well, I, I believe personally and I think when I started using that trick uh, my life improved and I think your life will improve too so the trick is have a hobby I mean it's so obvious but nowadays uh, I don't think anybody cares about hobbies so much I mean like I haven't heard anybody mention oh you, you should have a hobby you know it's very important people don't think that it's important and uh, I didn't think it was important before but um, what I found recently is that uh, having a hobby can basically kind of change your life um, why it's because when you have a hobby what happens is that first of all you enjoy your life more so like instead of um, I don't know just watching TV or watching something you know like consuming content hobby usually involves some kind of learning some kind of results so you get some kind of achievement you practice something yet it's fun so what happens is that you train yourself how to learn how to persevere how to do whatever like all of those good things that humans should be able to do um, but you do it in like a safe environment basically because what's the price of your failure you know uh, yeah of course you can dive like <laughs> your hobby is like diving or skydiving or something like that but uh, anyway you know uh, usually you can practice it in a relatively safe environment and uh, safe in terms of emotions so if you try to do something at work or in your relationships and it doesn't work what happens like your work is screwed your relationships are screwed so that's not a very good thing but usually in hobby uh, you can try something and uh, even if it doesn't work you know no problem and uh, so one more big thing is like I was talking to my coworker yesterday and uh, she was saying that she can't find the time or opportunity to meet a boyfriend so like she has been boyfriendless <laughs> for uh, I don't know like three years and uh, so she didn't like it and she actually wants to like get married have kids have family and so on but she can't find anybody and in Japan it's like very big problem and uh, so we started talking and then I asked her what's your hobby and she's like actually I don't have a hobby and uh, I asked why and she said well I'm so busy you know uh, she was studying uh, she was a violinist she was, she was practicing at home studying in the university then she was working every day so she had a boyfriend but then they broke up because probably she was too busy and um, so here's the thing you know she has no hobby she has no chance to meet anybody so now she has a job and she has nothing else and uh, so why would you you know lower your <laughs> workload if you have nothing to replace that work with like personal stuff so um, she was in this kind of vicious circle of um, I don't know you work hard and then you have no time and then uh, because you have no time you have nothing else so what else do you do you work more and uh, so anyway uh, I recommended that she has a hobby and uh, in my life uh, since I discovered <laughs> that I really like bikes like this is a weird thing I've been riding things since I was well like three years old I don't know like very young age but of course I was riding bicycles and uh, as I was growing up, my bicycles were changing, growing up, and uh, eventually I ended up like with a very good, cool um, 
a bicycle and I was riding it like every day to work and um, it was very good for my health. Then uh, I changed my jobs and uh, I couldn't ride anymore because it was like so uncomfortable to ride there and um, I felt that something was missing and then what started happening is that I started looking first it was just looking you know I was starting I started looking at bikes where you know somebody comes by and you're like ooh nice bike and uh, so then the, it started growing inside of my mind you know like oh maybe I like bikes <laughs> but then I was so afraid of that because I thought bikes are dangerous you know and uh, I had all of these ideas that usually people have like you know bikes are dangerous they are ridden by crazy people uh, bikes are noisy uh, they are super dangerous <laughs> in addition to just dangerous so anyway um, but then you know I once I got sick and uh, I I got sick so bad like I didn't know what's going to happen to me and then uh, I you know sometimes it happens you start thinking about you know what if this is the end you know what if like this is the last moment and not last moment like last year of my life and so on and so I thought uh, you know what, what am I going to lose if I try bikes you know and uh, not only that I felt if my life were to end soon uh, my one of my biggest regrets would be not having ridden a bike and uh, so you know I got a license I got a bike and my life has improved just by sheer amount of fun that I have on the bike but here's one more surprising thing is that since I got the bike I got to connect to all kinds of people you know because when you share a hobby with somebody that's an instant conversation starter they're like oh nice bike like how fast does it go you know how much how long have you been owning it like what's up with the bike you know and so I found that you can easily talk about almost anything for like at least an hour to a person who you have never met in your life wow there is some insect <laughs> anyway so an hour with a stranger that's quite a great result I mean like there is no similar background you can talk to a person from a different country but if you share a hobby you can like there is a connection 